Back in 2023, Representative Angie King and Josh Williams introduced House Bill 245, the Ohio drag ban. The bill was immediately condemned by LGBTQ advocates and allies, including myself, for its sloppy language, which could also criminalize transgender people in public spaces. Now, the representatives have denied that claim, stating that, quote, a performer has to be engaged in a performance that's harmful to juveniles or obscene. The problem is, we've seen multiple times how they define harmful to juveniles, obscene, and sexual. But why take it from me? Perhaps the best example of this can come from one of Representative King's star witnesses in proponent testimony, a man who is a local pastor and runs an anti-LGBT group online of which Representative King to this day continues to be a member. Um, that's not to say it wasn't sexual. Uh, regardless of what um, any mentally ill man posing as a woman and running for Congress insists, um, drag shows are inherently sexual, okay? You can't get away from it. A man trying to impersonate a woman by wearing makeup and dressing as a woman and wearing a wig and ta taping fake breasts to himself, that is abnormal. That is sexually de deviant, no matter what any congressional candidate uh, would happen to say. So no hate from us, none whatsoever. Um, so nothing remotely hateful about our message um, in spite of what some people are saying. We're called haters. Did we give them the finger? Uh, did we do that back to them? Did we scream at them? Did we make sexual gestures back at them? Did we curse at them? Uh, you know the answer to that. My name is Ariane Childry and I approve of this message.